down, making it lighter in my hand, touching with my leg. And then I get back to the passage. So again, I half up with my rein, touching with my leg. And it's not just a passage. So we can make transitions in the passage. So I can ride a quick passage. So I think more of a trotting passage. Super. And then I can bring him back in the passage. So I ride a collective passage. And then I ride forward again. So it's not just riding a passage. Oh boy. And every time he gets strong or he starts to pull, I just make a half hole and I make sure that he carries his own head and neck. It's not my job. That was beautiful there. To carry him. And the, my reins are like elastic bands that they move. My reins move. My feeling in my hand is that I have a connection to his mouth, but it's not that he's a holding connection. I want to be able to bend him. At the end of my session, I have to think, can I bend him? Can I straighten him? Can I stretch him? And can I collect him? And if I can do all of those things, I know I've got a, a good horse. And I'll go on a bit. So it's making all these Super. transitions. What you're showing, too, is that you are controlling the rhythm of the horse, how fast or how slow each footfall is in the gates, the tempo, how fast the horse is going over each meter of ground, the frame of the horse, how high, how low, how long, how short the frame is, and the length of his stride, how long, how short the length of the strides are. So those four things Charlotte is showing that she's gaining more and more ownership of from half halt to half halt.